grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses you know it's your boy terrible wall star got to break it down to them virgo sun moon rising north northern venus now look disclaimer general reading you know i gotta say it so but if it resonate for you make sure you hit that like comment subscribe button if it don't resonate for you i might not be your reader but if you do watch it thank you for watching might as well hit the like button while you at it anyway now virgo 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 hey gotta keep it real it took me a minute to really do this reading and I feel like everything was going cool and then out of somewhere it was just a transition shift. So I feel like you uh showing more gratitude not to yourself, but showing more gratitude to Mother Nature, the universe, showing gratitude to, you know, maybe your ancestors or a loved one, or you may just be feeling the energy, okay? But I also feel like the title of this one, you're rising beyond your expectations. Like you just don't know how much you rising, okay? Now your growth is becoming more balanced. Three 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 can be a significant number for you, Virgo. Go. And I also want to say you may be expanding more in higher knowledge or seeing uh, seeking different options in the way that you are going in life. OK, but I do see the progress is going uh, and you are ascending. Not only that, um, don't be afraid to take a risk right now, Virgo. Something new. Do something new. Uh, do something different. Change your algorithm up a little bit. Change the process of how you think and how you work, uh, because right now you're in a transition where you are shining in abundance, baby. Uh, some of you may be getting ready to change for our outer appearance so some of you may be doing some shopping or some of you may be trying new things it's like uh, uh you know virgos we always know to adapt so you may be adapting into a new you or shedding old skin okay someone may be falling for you deeply virgo so we don't know who this is so it could be someone but i feel the energy coming in of love and balance also uh uh stay positive on a um stay on a positive mindset even though you may be seeking something different virgo just stay focused to the main purpose in your life okay whatever that is you may need to check your placements or your natal chart where you can get it either on astro cafe astro matrix or it's it's another one but somebody gave me that shout out to ag for that also as well uh she did uh get some information on that so i just want to shout out for that information because you know us virgos stick together kudos now uh Virgo, stay calm because I feel like it's a new moon coming around the period very soon. So your urges or your solar plexus or your sexual desires may be um, increasing or enhancing. So, but if you are in a relationship, just take that to good, you know, good measures. I mean, if you married, you know, you know the way how you do it to each his own. I don't know your story. Only you know your story. But you can transfer that energy to good things, okay? You are being guided through the unknown, okay? So, um... Spirit is guiding you through this transition. Remember, uh, you've been going through a cocoon state. You don't finally blossom out. You don't went through the little challenges like a butterfly trying to learn how to fly for the first time. You got to get your wings together. But now you're starting to get things together and spirit is starting to guide you and you are starting to do things more gracefully. Okay, Virgo? Not only that, better and more abundant days await. Someone may be sad or gone that you may be away. So I feel like some of you take it as a resonate, flip it, twist it, do whatever you got to do to it. You know, stay concluded with it. Now, basically with that uh, saying, uh, someone around you may be saying that you're away. Even like if you go to work or if you out, they just love sick or they very want to be real clingy towards you. So I feel like, Virgo, somebody is falling for you. I don't know who it is, only you know your story. Now, um, sometimes I feel like, Virgo, you may need to encourage yourself, okay? Even though you're going through whatever we're going through, you got to do what you got to do. All right, so with that basically being said, we already got that out the way. So let's go ahead and drop down into a little bit of the reading. Welcome to all my new viewers, cross watchers, A1 Day 1 G Stars, all of y'all. I just want to say I love you. Thank you. We almost to the first goal. Then we got a long journey to go. But only you can help us make this channel grow by like, commenting, and sharing, okay? Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the singing bowl. So if some of y'all don't know, we always like to breathe in positive energy. Exhale out. If you want to skip it, just go on and fast forward through it whenever this reading uh, take place. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's go, Virgo. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. And exhale all the negativity, all the things that no longer concern you, Virgo. All the pain, all the drama. We letting it go. Breathe in. Positive light, positive energy, the highest you to your full highest expectation and breathe out all negativity, all stress, all worries. One more time. And exhale, Virgo. All right. 
Spirit guys in the universe, we just thank you for everybody who comes on this channel. Please get in the blueprint and understanding of what's going on in this daily reading. Not only that, do it towards their highest good. Anything that's not suitable for them for their highest good or anything, any harm, or anyone or anything try to bring to them, we return it back to sender and far out to the universe, okay? I say, I say, I'm in. Alright, let's see what type of energy that we have for Virgo. Spirit guys in the universe, what do we have for Virgo? Something rising for modern being. I'll show you what else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern Venus. What else do we have for Virgo? What's the current energy? Can I get one more? I'll show you. All right, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Every time I get y'all a kudos, something happens. Now, Let's go ahead and rock with it, okay? Now, this is our energy, Virgo energy. We got the Hermit card basically being in reverse. That's the main energy. So I feel like, Virgo, what is going on? Why are you feeling like you may not be up to some things or you may have a fear of rejection or you may be feeling sad, okay? But now, let's figure out a little bit more about it. It's clarified by the Page of Wands, the Temperance in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles basically being in reverse, okay, Virgo? So I feel like even something that you may, you may be feeling sad about a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or uh, every Leo Sagittarius may be sad about you. Take the energy how it go. But I feel like Virgo, something is not flowing and it's suffering in some type of partnerships. I feel like you may express your feelings or the way how it's supposed to go and it's not flowing peacefully. Somebody, uh, it's not what you say, it's how you say things. But I feel like somebody may came to you this way or I feel like somebody may devalue you or you may be feeling devouring, um, not like, devour i'm just saying like you may be taking your crown away from somebody or you are no longer interested in somebody because it, it created some type of partnership or it can be a partnership that is suffering mentally and financially okay we're gonna do a little bit more uh understanding on this also but i got a new deck so uh it's the astrological tarot so we want to figure out what we got for the main energy as well spirit guys and the universe what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node is being for the main energy too many. Too many. Hold on, Virgo. I got you. I got you. What do we have for Virgo? Let's get some current energy. I'm trying to see the energy of what's going on. I'm sorry. Make it warmer. flip so we're gonna take them all right virgo we got a lot of earth energy okay so now i'm gonna tell you how it go okay so now with the hermit card basically being in reverse some say something you may be feeling like you never reject to or unable to express your feelings or take some type of action okay i feel like i feel like not only that you going back more in your hermit mode and more in that type of nature okay hold on virgo this is why you always have a backup Hold on, Marco. Just one second. I might want to act crazy. We ain't gonna let that go, okay? Alright. Now, sorry about that, Virgo. Now, basically, again, with this, you feeling rejected, uh, uh, feeling sad or isolated about some type of things, you just in your hermit mode right now, Virgo. But again, you are unable to express your emotions. But we also got the four, uh, uh Earth basically being in reserve, um, uh, for Earth, which is us, basically being in reverse, okay? So I feel like with the Four of Pentacles basically being in reverse, it may be something that you may not be grounded on or you may not feel the uh, stability of what's going on in the current situation, okay? Not only that, I'm going to get some more clarification on this. Not only that, because when I see this, I thought so. You not yeah, it's something blocking your happiness, okay? So again, that's why you may be feeling isolated and sad, Virgo, okay? So whoever this person is, is probably making you feel like you probably rejected them or they may be feeling sad about you because you're unable to express your emotions. You could be dealing with Leo Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius to Aries, but I feel like it's a new way of you expressing yourself with this new beginning, okay? Even with the Four of Pentacles basically being in reverse, it's just letting us know it may be something that you're struggling on and that was starting to affect your happiness, your growth. Now, not only that, Virgo, 
go with the tempers basically being in reverse is let me know that you need to be probably focusing more up on yourself and probably be more in your emotions or probably very very intuitive okay because pisces energy is basically uh the rude um it's not, I think it's ruled by Pluto, if I'm correct. I don't know, but I feel like Pisces is more in Pluto. Um, I know Pisces are very dreamy type of energy. And not only that, yes, it's time for you to be precise with yourself and go in your intuition and be more intuitive, okay? And be more emotional because it's time for you to heal. Or you being this star or you are awakening as a star, okay? Even though the partnership may be going through some type of spiral or downfall, uh, it could be a job, it could be a relationship, or it could be something that you are manifesting. Take it as it resonates. But not only that, Virgo, okay? I feel like also, with the one of Earth basically being in reverse, you got the one and two. So, I feel like two, one, two. I feel like it's some type of change that's coming around. I feel like you are starting this new beginning and you starting to get more higher education and higher learning. And you are taking processes and action. I feel like the choices that you are making, you are starting to level up and you are starting to ascend, okay? But while you are sitting up there ascending, I also feel like you've been doing this in hermit mode, okay? So, we got the hermit in verse. So, again, at the beginning, you may be feeling sad or this can be more mental. I feel like you're seeking more clarity about the ground and why the partnership may be lost or why this uh, energy is the way that it is because there's some type of new uh, resources that may be blocking you or it may be, uh, again, a partnership that you are suffering from or something that you may be in an imbalance, Virgo, okay? But not only that, you going back and you probably went back in the hermit mode. So some of you probably back in the house, okay? But it, it, everything is going smooth for you, Virgo. I feel like you just had to sit back and transition even though you've been feeling like things may have been a little rocky and things may not have been up to par but I also feel like Virgo uh, let's get a message I also feel like Virgo right now you need you seeing the truth so that's why it's sitting up and showing back to your energy I feel like you are seeing the truth on some type of situation dealing with uh Time for you to be precise or you may not be uh, you seeing the truth about somebody being tempted in a situation and probably fell short for them. And that's why you may be feeling isolated and sad about whatever's going on. But far as your growth part, I see that you are being happy and you are walking in your abundance. But what's getting you this lack of stability. I feel like sometimes maybe somebody's attitude is not fitting in or maybe everything is being stagnated, Virgo. OK, even though it may be some partnership that's probably been suffering again, because I like to throw this up. We finished get another clarification so again with the two of pentacles basically being in reverse it was a loss of some type of financial loss or a lack of balance so even with that what you basically started doing you started to feel like somebody maybe was neglecting their responsibility again with these finances so you had to go see the truth and see the clarity within yourself to figure out everything that's going on okay virgo now let's go ahead and keep going let's get some more uh let's see a little bit more what's going on spirit guys in the universe what are the challenges for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rod, and North Node, and Venus? What are the challenges for Virgo? What are the challenges for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rod, and North Node, and Venus? I say. All right, Virgo, we got the Queen of Wands basically being in reverse, right? As the energy, the challenging energy of something that you may need to work on or something may be coming in that you need to face, okay? Now, we got the Queen of Wands basically being in reverse. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you could be doing some type of action. Uh, but I feel like, Virgo, the challenge is, is you need to be more inspired uh, and more inspired in the way that you're walking or whatever you're putting in a, in a play, okay? Not only that, you need to be overprotective, okay? Uh, because I feel like whatever the situation may be for you, it may be something that may be coming in trying to suppress your emotions or something's trying to block your intuition, okay? Not only that, with this new beginning and you are taking steps and actions, you need to be more intuitive on your action. If you're an entrepreneur, take that leap of faith right now, okay? Even though it may be a lack of resources that you may see, we're going to drop down a little bit further. Spirit woman to tell you one of the challenges you may have to keep persevering and keep pushing strong through this journey, okay? Now, Virgo, I will be honest before i done this reading earlier it took me a minute because i was very emotional the energy did feel sad when i even picked it up okay not any uh i tried to fight it off and i'm going to be honest i tried to fight it and it feel like it was just like it took a moment because i was so sad about what was going on and it just hit me out of nowhere okay virgo so again 
Queen of Wands energy, right? So again, let's go ahead and talk about it. I feel like somebody may be having a lack of passion about moving forward, even maybe a relationship or a lack of, uh, or maybe very, very overprotective dealing with their emotions, okay? Because we got the Ace of Cups basically being in reverse. So I feel like it, it's something that you're not seeing or some type of lack of understanding, Virgo, that you need to be more precise about overcoming this hurdle or overcoming this fear. Because we got the... Uh, Sorry, we got the strength card basically being in reverse. So that's letting me know that the enemy can be within yourself right now or somebody may or you may be panicking or someone may be panicking because you're not giving them the attention no more. Or you probably blacked it, blocked that off because you was being more overprotective of your own energy. Not only that, you need to go on and take initiative and take actions and keep that uh and keep staying structured into your walk and whatever you're doing, okay? Because even though the hangman basically is right here, I feel like it's in reverse. You know, I feel like even though you need to take initiative and action so you feel like you won't block yourself, okay? Now, if I did say it wrong, you got to forgive me because this one's always get confusing to me anywhere how it go. Now, not only that, even though you are taking initiative, you're taking action, this is a challenge that you got to work on, even dealing with you maybe having some type of blockage, right? Now, even though the resources or you may not have the information that you need or you may not have the freedom that you need but or something like that with the Ace of Pentacles basically being in reverse. I feel like this was a long-term process that you finally breaking a cycle of, but with the Ten of Pentacles basically being in reverse is letting me know you may be disconnected or you may be feeling like things going sour, but don't make it feel like it's going sour because Virgo, Virgo, I feel like a new day dawns for you. A new day does dawn for you. So what you got to do every day when you wake up, a new day starts, okay? So I feel like this is somebody else's energy because it was in a reverse. So I feel like when you not being around somebody, the day for the next person is not the same. So if you at work and you miss a day at work, I feel like they get chaotic and go to everything that's going crazy, okay? I feel like if it's a relationship, when you just finally set your boundaries and you do what you do and you walk out, they be gone when you, when you gone. They be missing you or they can't do nothing right without you not being there. That's when I said a new day does and it was in reverse. So flip it, twist it, reverse it. Even though you may be seeing, be sad, Virgo, it's still a new day come. But you also need to pay attention to the signs because I feel like you're not paying attention to the signs and it may be creating some... Uh, some some boundaries or some blockages dealing with your finances, okay? Not only that, you may be need to watch your finances because they may be rapidly disintegrating. Just keep a budget on your finances, okay, Virgo? Not only that, let's go ahead and get a little bit more. Not only that, Virgo, let's see what else, what else do we have for Virgo? What is the challenges for Virgo? So I'm going to rise in North Lord and Venus. I shall. So Virgo, hold on, we're going to see what it is. I got you. So Virgo, right now, I feel like some type of action is being made or some type of action is in place because we got the two of wands and three of wands basically in reverse when it comes to pay attention to the sign, okay? So now with the two of fire, with the two of wands basically being in reverse, fire represents Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I feel like... uh something that you need to watch out for so I feel like you may be thinking it's some wasted talent but it may not be wasted talent Virgo because you are sending but you gotta watch out for uh, somebody who may be trying to betray you or show uh, uh, if you feel like this person is not being the right person for you you know what to do it's time to cut it off that's why you overprotecting your heart that's why you blocking people out and you doing everything that needs to be done accordingly not only that let's go ahead and say so spirit got this in reverse as well so the challenge also you may be treating it to somebody because because you realize that ain't your soulmate. Because it'd be like, yes, this is your soulmate, but it was in reverse, Virgo. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with, whoever sent in temptation, may, or they may be getting tempted, may not be your person. Because I think, Virgo, you seeing the truth and you doing your healing and you being in hermit mode while you're doing this. And then again, you overprotecting yourself and, and not, uh, even though you're not paying attention to the signs, but you got more intuitive knowledge to know something wasn't right from the beginning. Okay, Virgo? So let's keep pushing. Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus? What else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, and Venus? Ashe, 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 Ashe. All right, Virgo. 
I I really feel like heavily you dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries or you can have the placement or when I see fire sign also it made me feel like your actions may be aggressive or dominant right now okay now spirit want me to tell you even uh, with the ten of wands basically being upright even though it may feel like it's a lot of responsibility that's going on okay but a new cycle away for you okay spirit want me to tell you almost there you at your last victory part you at your last step on this journey okay but you got to still continue to expand and you still got to continue to grow you still got to show your best interest and in, um to keep moving out right and keep looking so 33 can be a, a very significant number so with 33 i feel like virgo you will sit up there you are being intuitive on your walk you being intuitive about the people you being around you know how to build things from scratch and make it abundant virgo and not only that i feel like god is calling you towards your purpose okay i feel like that's the reason why god putting you through all of this because even though you at your last step Somebody may be thriving on your attention or somebody may be jealous of you, Virgo. So that's why you probably be having this and people may be coming around, okay? Not only that, cars can fly everywhere. Spirit guys, what else we have? So I feel like even you being a nurturing person towards your happiness, happiness, Spirit want me to tell you it's time for you to expand out and start looking at different options and different views, okay? Not only that, I feel like you may be feeling abandoned. And you probably be walking away from something. And it's probably from a, a, a potential partner or a job or anything that suits you. I feel like you're about to start walking away from it and start looking for things on the other side, okay? Spirit guys in the universe, what else do we have? And I feel like the reason why, because I feel like things just wasn't working out. And I feel like like you were why uh you can't be wise in this situation or something you naive about and it probably be uh something dealing with kids so virgo if you're dealing with somebody dealing with kids with this situation it may be time to walk away because you may be feeling abandoned and you may feel like everything is not going the way that it's supposed to go accordingly okay not only that virgo a new cycle away for you so spirit want me to tell you i feel like you are not sad in this change that you are making as well because of somebody may be sad take it as it resonates but for you virgo I feel like you're not sad about the matter. I feel like you done made means with it and you already seen how it was and you just wanted a little bit of clarity. So I feel like you found your clarity. So now it's time for you to focus and act on whatever's the situation that's going on. Okay, Virgo? Not only that, let's see. I want to break this down to you. Not only that, Virgo, you may need to work on your crown chakra. I feel like your crown chakra may be blocked and it's time to go ahead and go into contemplation. Okay, 32 can be a significant number for you as well. I feel like even though you expanding it, even though you are taking the steps and you are starting to put more effort into what you're doing spiritually or what you're doing emotionally or what you're doing naturally, I feel like with contemplation, I feel like you are. Uh, it's time for you to contemplate yourself into the forward motion of your situation, okay? So this is Yana Mudra. Uh, assist you in integration, balance, meditation, enhancing full body balance and health supports full yogi breath, allows for effortless uh, meditation as well. Now, here go the instructions. Place the left hand in the left palm facing up. Lay the back of the right hand onto the fingers of the left hand. Bend the index finger and align them at the first and second joints. Lightly touch the tips of both index fingers to the tops of the thumb. Relax the shoulders and lift your spine. This is what you focus on, Virgo. My mind and body rest in effortless contemplation. My mind and body rest effortless and contemplation. Now, with that basically being said, Virgo, just to break it all the way down, this is very, very beautiful for you, Virgo. Even though things may be not coming up to par, you may be feeling isolated or sad, or you may be feeling like you might get rejected about seeing what's on the other side of the water or rejected by the relationship, right? Now, uh, you haven't been falling in the tempta temptation, but I also feel like by you seeing the truth and you also be getting that healing that you are, just overcome the hurdles that you see. Not only that, but keep overprotecting your heart and watch out for your finances. That's very important. Even though I feel like it's a big burden and a lot of responsibility that's going on because you may be dealing with children, you may be dealing with uh, a family issue, or you may be dealing with a relationship type of issue, and it may be a real, real soul tie and a strong connection. Don't feel sad about what's going on. If it's time to move, is move. Uh, everybody move in a perfect reason in a place for everything at the right time. It's called divine timing, okay, Virgo? Now, with that basically being said, I want to say peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. If you like to read, hit the comment, subscribe button below. But I also want to feel like... And, um, I'm thankful because I was, I might come back later because I, I was feeling down. And, and uh, somebody out there, whoever you are, 
I just want to say that you are loved, okay? Um, seek God. God is God will get you there. That's the stepping steps, okay? Uh, keep pushing. Even though people done treated you wrong, Virgo. Even though you done been through a lot of hard issues, Virgo, and I can feel your energy right now. Don't give up on you, okay? We right over the hump, okay? Now, if you got to pray to God or if you need that abundance to show gratitude, it's time to show gratitude, okay? I just want to say, I love you. God love you. The universe love you too. Just make sure you love you. No, just make sure you love yourself. That's important. Like, I really want to do some singing, but uh, I'm not a singer. So I'm more of an artist, but not that type of artist. So with that basically being said, peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace, baby. Keep blossoming. Keep growing. This is you, and this is your life, and I'm proud of you. I'm just trying not to tear up right now you know you will see me cry on one of these i'm gonna be honest with you. if spirit leaks it we just gonna leak but what they basically being said peace love and light light love and peace i love you god love you the universe definitely love you just make sure you love yourself virgo okay see y'all to the next time